Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your 60-second breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. China's leader, Xi Jinping, has three official titles in the Chinese government. Head of State, Chairman of the Central Military Commission, and General Secretary of the Chinese Communist Party, the only political party allowed to rule the country. However, none of those titles are president, despite the U.S. government having referred to the Chinese leader with that title since the 1980s. The Name the Enemy Act would require the U.S. government refer to Xi Jinping or any future Chinese leader with the title General Secretary in any official communications. It was introduced in the House on August 7th by Pennsylvania Republican Representative Scott Perry. Now, supporters argue that China engages in evil state-sponsored practices, from censorship to mistreatment of the Uyghur Muslim population, and that the person calling the shots does not deserve the legitimacy nor the implied democratic ascendancy that the title president may convey. Opponents counter that this bill is simply red-baiting against China, the foreign enemy du jour of Republicans. After all, some other world leaders are referred to as president despite having either dubious or outright non-existent claims to having earned the office through democratic or public support, such as Russia's Putin, the Philippines' Duterte, or Turkey's Erdogan. Yet there isn't any Republican-led legislation to cease calling any of them president. Or maybe we could avoid this whole controversy by calling Xi Jinping Mr.